IPFS is a distributed system for storing and accessing files, websites, applications, and data. IPFS is a file sharing system that can be leveraged to more efficiently store and share large files. It relies on cryptographic hashes that can easily be stored on a blockchain. I suggest you watch this video for a better understanding. NFT storage lets developers store NFT data on decentralized networks easily, securely, and for free. With just a few lines of code, anyone can leverage the power of IPFS and Filicoin to ensure the persistence of their NFTs. For login you just need email or GitHub. You can now upload your own file. An IPFS gateway acts as a bridge between traditional web browsers and IPFS. IPFS.io is public gateway. With the special CID that gave it to me, I was able to view the file. This repository contains a client library fully compatible with Unity Engine. For using this library, just copy the NFT storage client.cs source code file to your Unity project. Anyone registered to NFT storage, an API key is required. Can use this library to store and persist game assets using the IPFS system. But their code has problems, you can't upload photos or videos, only text files can be uploaded. So I changed some parts of the code myself, and made a pull request. I put the file link in the description. Here I have a sprite that was downloaded from the internet. And two scripts. We intend to save this photo via Unity in IPFS. Getting a free API token from NFT storage only takes a few moments. This token enables you to interact with the NFT storage service without using the main website, enabling you to incorporate files stored using NFT storage directly into your applications and services. You can use this script to upload, list your files, get a special file or check a file, and delete the file. Currently we only need to upload, we have two methods, here you can use HTTP client or Unity Web Request, which I suggest is Unity Web Request. We have prepared a script called Implement NFT Storage, there is nothing special, let's go and see it together. We have a string that gave the file address. And we have an instance class called NSC from the NFT storage client. Inside the update, we put two buttons. If we press C, it will take a screenshot, and if we press P, it will upload the image. The easiest way to take a screenshot is to use the screen capture, which we covered in another video.
uploaded successfully, gave us all the information, since it was created, or CID or PIN status. And much more.